The other way that, you know, the, that I can tell you that we've, we're, we're increasingly struggling about the right vocabulary is about blogging. Um, it was a huge part of our portfolio in the mid 2000s you know, 2004, 5, 6, uh, you know, I would say half of our work was related to who was doing it, what they were doing, how they were impacting uh, other institutions and, and stuff like that. It was a great, you know, rich show of data. We, when we ask the blogging question now, we don't, we're not entirely confident that we are capturing people who are bloggers because, you know, an obvious example is MySpace has a function called blogging. But well, when you ask MySpace users, are you a blogger, even though they use that blogging function, they're using their social network site. So they say no to the blogging question and yes to SNS uh, question. And, and so that's, you know, just capturing the right number there is becoming a little bit more challenging. Even more challenging is asking people who are blog readers. I mean, it's a frantic question that's being asked, particularly in, in publishing or any kind of media company now. Who are blog readers? You know, you, I'm, I challenge you, go to your favorite blogs now and assess them compared to some of the top-notch media sites you use. There's really not much difference. They're full of advertising, right? They're full of, uh, of different segments. They're nicely blocked up. They look fabulous in, in most cases, so they're well displayed. But you can't tell whether this is an individual blogger, a blogger for a media company who is you know, doing it on the side from her beat, and, and somebody who is actually publishing on a, on a sort of standard... Um, media page. And so, yes, we're, we're, we're constantly thinking about what uh, that means to our work and, um, and how we need to adjust to that. 